The Miami Grand Prix lived up to its reputation as a grand spectacle in the sunshine, showcasing its high-end extravagance and luxury. The event delivered on the hype just as the star of the show, Britain's Lando Norris, secured his first Formula One victory. Let's see how it all went down in today's video. Rejoice, McLaren fans, your moment has arrived. After a long wait, Lando Norris is now a Grand Prix winner, securing a remarkable victory in Miami. Despite Max Verstappen facing challenges, the timely appearance of the safety car provided Norris with the opportunity to take the lead, fulfilling his prediction of winning in 2024. Charles Leclerc from Ferrari secured a spot on the podium alongside Norris and Verstappen. This event was a one-of-a-kind experience in a coveted destination city, fulfilling Formula One's owner's desires. For the enthusiastic spectators revelling in the lively fan zones with dancing and drinks, it met all expectations. Norris showcased exceptional skill. While benefiting from a timely safety car intervention, he then had to maintain flawless precision for 24 laps, especially with Verstappen, a triple world champion, looming in his mirrors. Norris not only remained composed, but also reaffirmed his willingness, as he has stated previously, to challenge Verstappen directly when on equal terms. This was a pivotal moment, and Norris had to perform under immense pressure during what might have been the most intense 24 laps of his racing career. Lando Norris's debut win, at 24 years old from Glastonbury, has been a long time in the making. Achieved in his 110th Grand Prix since his debut at the Australian GP in 2019. Despite eight second-place finishes and a near win in Russia in 2021, marred by late rain, Norris has consistently showcased the skill and determination to compete fiercely with the top contenders at the front of the grid. This win was a validation for Norris, who has been highly regarded for his exceptional talent for a long time. Verstappen seemed to have the race under control until a pivotal moment around the midpoint changed the course of events. McLaren's strategic decision to keep Norris out on track longer before his pit stop paid off, ultimately leading to him inheriting the lead and securing the victory. Verstappen made his pit stop on lap 24. A crash involving Logan Sargent and Kevin Magnussen on lap 29 led to a safety car period. During this safety car period, Norris was able to make a pit stop without losing time, allowing him to re-emerge in the lead ahead of Verstappen once again. At the restart on lap 33, Norris maintained his lead while Verstappen struggled to get his tyres up to optimal temperature. Norris capitalised on his fresher rubber, widening the gap between them. The tension was palpable as Norris knew that putting in flawless laps at that crucial stage was essential to secure the win. Following the restart, Norris set a string of fastest laps, steadily increasing his lead. Despite the unlikely scenario, Verstappen seemed to have reached his limit, expressing dissatisfaction with the lack of grip. This time, Norris was in total control at the front, proving that he could deliver exactly as he had always believed he could. While the safety car played into Norris's hands, his victory was not just about luck, it was a display of unwavering determination and a champion's mindset. Norris held his nerve with sheer determination, extending his lead as the laps ticked down. In the end, he crossed the finish line with a historic first victory, a commanding 7.6 seconds ahead of Verstappen. Norris's jubilant laughter and ecstatic celebration from the cockpit resonated with sheer joy and excitement. As he completed the inlap, he was graciously applauded by Lewis Hamilton, who drew level with him. Norris's celebratory shouts to his race engineer, Will Joseph, echoed his elation and sense of accomplishment. I love you all, thank you so much. We did it, Will, he said. I guess that's how it's done, finally. I knew it when I came in this morning. I said today is the day for opportunities. Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. This one's for my grandma. Afterwards, he joyously launched himself into the arms of his team, crowd surfing amidst their enthusiastic reception. The spectators also rose to their feet, acknowledging his remarkable achievement with enthusiastic cheers. Talking more about his win, Lando said, About time, huh? The whole weekend has been good. I've had a few setbacks along the way. I knew on Friday we had the pace and just a couple of mistakes here and there. But today we managed to put it together. We put the perfect strategy. It all paid off. Long day, tough race. Finally on top, so I'm over the moon. I'm just proud. A lot of people doubted me along the way. For three years, fans have flocked to the track winding around the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens, witnessing only Verstappen's victories, breaking this Dutchman's dominance, especially with a driver as beloved as Norris and in such historic fashion, was the kind of sporting drama they deeply appreciated, earning Norris enormous acclaim. While talking about Lando's win, Verstappen said, I am very happy for Lando. It's been a long time coming and it's definitely not going to be his last one. He deserved it today. As the champagne celebrations commenced, it was evident that the fans had an absolute blast. 
Finally, a new victor in Miami signalled a refreshing change, proving that there's room for both relaxed beachside bopping in bikinis with cocktails and enduring rainy days in waterproofs on grassy knolls at Spa. What truly matters is the incredible show on the track. And for the first time, both Miami and Norris delivered spectacularly in that regard. McLaren boss Andrea Stella was confident in his team's upgraded Formula One car's speed, but he was surprised by Max Verstappen's inability to match Lando Norris's pace during the Miami Grand Prix. Stella's response to Sky was that McLaren's performance against Red Bull exceeded their expectations. When questioned about Verstappen's inability to keep up with Norris, Stella said, We knew that the car was quick, although it's a bit of a surprise, but we take it positively and we take it for the future as well. Stella has always had confidence in Norris's abilities and supported him during challenging times when Norris blamed himself for costly errors. Throughout it all, Stella believed that once McLaren provided him with a winning machine, Norris would be able to deliver victories. Many firsts, added Stella. The most important is the first victory for Lando because he deserved it so much. We always said that as soon as we give him the right material, he is going to make it, and he made it. For me, my thoughts are with the men and women at McLaren. McLaren Racing CEO Zach Brown attributed the races unfolding, where circumstances favoured Norris, to the continued influence of both De Ferrar and the late McLaren part owner Mansour Oje, who passed away in 2021. This is long overdue, and this is a very popular win amongst the fans and the drivers, said Brown. The drivers went up to him to congratulate him. He drove perfectly. The car was really fast and I think Gilda Ferran and Mansour had something to do with today. Building up these Formula One teams doesn't happen overnight a huge contribution from 1,000 plus people back at McLaren. So I want to thank all the men and women that have worked so hard. Coming out of where we were at the start of last year to where we are now is just amazing and it has just been teamwork. Apart from the win, McLaren also made headlines for granting a request for Donald Trump to visit its garage during Formula One's Miami Grand Prix as a gesture of respect and acknowledgement for the office of the President of the United States. Trump, a former president and a 2024 Republican presidential candidate who is currently involved in a hush money trial lasting several weeks, attended the Miami race as a guest, accompanied by a large security presence. During his visit, Trump was seen in the McLaren garage alongside Zach Brown, FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem, F1 CEO Stefano Domenicali and Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffei. A photo captured Trump and Brown together at the front of the garage during the visit. McLaren is a non-political organisation, However, we recognise and respect the office of President of the United States. So when the request was made to visit our garage on race day, we accepted alongside the President of the FIA and the CEOs of Liberty Media and Formula One, the team said. We were honoured that McLaren Racing was chosen as the representative of F1, which gave us the opportunity to showcase the world-class engineering that we bring to motorsport. How do you feel about Lando Norris earning his first career victory? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell us in the comments section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.